Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, I know that you guys in uh, Retail and I have actually, I know, I think it was September, didn't you guys put out kind of a, a report of some kind, kind of suggesting, like I think it was three things, just you talked about maybe communication and, and things that needed to be improved. Yeah. Uh, what kind of would you like to see going forward from the executive, uh, kind of looking at a, how to help retail at the moment or going forward? Yeah, well, I think the first and foremost is that, um, you know, we need to get to uh, a position where we begin to think and ask the question, what does success look like for the post-pandemic high street? And I think an important bit of work the executive needs to do is the, uh, the high street task force, which we outlined, which would bring together key government departments uh, and relevant business uh, representatives to chart a new way forward to coordinate policy to town centres. So that means getting things like rates, regeneration, planning, public transport, car parking, all of that, that, that we'd be able to come together and make sure that we can build that 21st century high street that we do need to, we do really need to work on. Because the high street has gone through huge change. Uh, some of it was in serious trouble and the pandemic has accelerated that. But as we've been saying on a regular basis, the high street, isn't dying. We're not seeing the beginning of the end. It's going through a, a reconstruction process. It's going through a transition, and we believe that you know transition ultimately will mean a bright future for the high street. It'll be very much, uh, I think, about the experience economy. It will be, I suppose, to sum it up in, in, in basically easy understood language, fun friendly, fun and family friendly. Um, it'll be based on you know more than just retail and hospitality. It'll be an ecosystem of lots of different types of business that offer something very different to the past. We've also talked about developing the concept of localism. And, you know, localism is not just about supporting independent retailers. It's about looking to see how we can develop a vision which benefits the whole supply chain, uh, local producers, uh, suppliers, manufacturers, right through to local retailers. So more sustainable uh, supply chain and a sustainable approach to the economy. But it's also by changing the leadership model uh, in many, uh, many of our towns and cities as well. Um, you know, making sure that, you know, we get the right level of business and community engagement about, you know, building that new 21st century vision for our towns and cities. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy, but I believe we will get there, but we can only really get there with the right partnership approach and the right policy framework from government. Do you think government is working to ensure that, um, especially within local councils, who would have more power over those sort of high street areas? Well, I think your councils are a key part of this. They are key players. It's absolutely right that they, uh, I mean, they have significant responsibilities around planning, uh, around uh, things like car parking, uh, all economic development. So they're going to be obviously very significant players in the future. So I think what we need to make sure that every level of government is doing everything it can to help the high street and help the high street make that transition. Um, but, you know, it, it, it is going to be very difficult in the short term because obviously, you know, we have seen very significant numbers of people lose their jobs in retail uh, and indeed will be the case in hospitality as well. So it's, you know, how do we support those workers, uh, you know, in the future when there's less retail and less hospitality uh, positions out there. So, you know, we're going to be dealing with a very significant unemployment problem as we emerge out of this lockdown. Um, we're going to require, you know, things like, you know, obviously a stimulus package to support business. But, you know, we've got some, I think, good things like the, what we believe that will be, uh, very helpful to retail and hospitality, and that's this high street voucher, which is probably going to be, uh, I would have thought May, April, May now. Um, I think that will, I think, be very helpful for local business. We would like to see that high street voucher particularly targeted at independent retailers and local businesses um, rather than, you know, the large supermarkets. So I, I think projects like that are good um, because I think it does help stimulate and get money back into the economy again and get people spending.